Worldwide has a string of hit singles and two number ones, Deacon Blue. Scottish band Deacon Blue formed in 1985, fronted by former school teacher Ricky Ross. Their debut album Rain Town was released in 1987 and was a top 20 hit and remained in the charts for a year and a half. Their follow-up album, When the World Knows Your Name, knocked Madonna off the top of the charts and gave the band their first top 10 hit, Real Gone Kid. Two further albums followed before the band decided to split in 1994 to pursue other projects, but they reunited five years later. Now, Deacon Blue are about to celebrate their 25th anniversary with a UK tour and a new album. Well, Vicky Ross and Lorraine McIntosh are with me now. It's so good to see you. Lovely to see you. Everybody's been so excited. I've never had more people coming and saying, oh, I need to get the autograph, I need to get the autograph. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. And I did want to be in that band. Really? Did oh, you, Did you absolutely. want to be near him? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a blend of both. But it can't be 25 years. Yeah, it it can't. More. <laughs> That's what we're telling you, 25 years, yeah. There's actually more. But when you've announced and you're going to be doing the big tour and all the rest of it, you know, mm -hmm. for, for the anniversary tour, um, the response has been fantastic, hasn't it? It's been great. We went yeah. out last year and we had a brilliant time. We had the album out in September and went out on tour. And it was so good to have new music to play. Yeah. So we're going out again this year and um, in September and then again in December and we're just loving it. It's great. Is it better than 25 years ago, would you say? Well, it's very odd because I think it is. But <laughs> I, and sometimes you feel like you're, you're making that up. Yeah. But we have, obviously, because Graham, our guitarist, died yeah. uh, nearly 10 years ago now, nine years Gosh. ago. And, uh, you know, we have new members of mm. musicians in the band. And they said, Wait, was it always like I said, no, it wasn't like this. And... I think there's just something really great about it at the moment. I don't know. What, I don't know what it is. I think it's we've finally grown up. You know, uh -huh, you get to a point where you have to grow up, and, so, <laughs> and, and you appreciate it more. Well, the other side is we all do different things, and mm. so when you come out to play gigs and you go out in front of an audience and you play these songs, you realise this is pretty special. You're not doing yeah. it all the time, and when you're doing other things, and, and some of the other things are quite every day. Uh, mm. Then I think maybe you think, well, actually, this is okay. It's yeah. Good. What do your kids think? Are you cool? Are you the coolest parents? Mm -hmm. Well, we were slightly thinking they wouldn't like it, <laughs> but they came. The, two, the elder two girls are at uni in Scotland, and they came, one in Dundee and one in Edinburgh, and right. they brought their pals, okay. and they thought it was brilliant. Yeah, and they're now going to get passes to festivals in the summer and things yeah. like that. So, so they're, happy they're, days. they're thinking that might happy be quite a bonus. That's absolutely fantastic. And as you said, you've, you've done other things. I mean, I know you do a lot mm. of radio as well, and you've done TV. Acting, of course, mm -hmm. in, in, in Hyrule. And, um, sorry, not yeah, in River, River City. City. I'm sorry, I've gone mad. I know, I know, I know, I've gone mad. But you know, you have done lots and lots of different things, and then come back together. And mm. I think probably that's quite good to do that. You know, I think, I think it is. Yeah. I think we would have gone insane. I mean, if you were just doing the music, if, if you, you were just, just doing, that. doing that, yeah. And it's also good to, to to have another thing, other things to go to. You know, yeah. there's other thing, there's other things yeah. to. That, I find it's much more simple. I'm one of these people that I don't get things done unless someone gives me uh, a very small time frame to do right. them. So you've got a deadline, so, so you have I, to do it. So I quite yeah. like having a number of things uh, mm. going. Learning gives me a hard time for that occasionally, <laughs> but I do <laughs> like having different projects going mm. and I find it quite creative as well. So it's, it's good for me to have different things to write mm. for as well. Loving the... Um colour that you've got on there with your shirt. <laughs> is, it? Now, could it possibly be <laughs> tangerine and black? Was because, of course, you're a fellow, fellow United fan. And I love the fact that you actually ran onto the pitch in 1994. <laughs> Do you know, I, I couldn't... Oh, oh there's Psycho! Look, there's Steve Bowman! No, I'm not yeah, you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, and the Glasgow Police Force. Yes. The guy, the policeman was saying to me, this is, you are what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> you're, you're the, but the thing is, I've been six times to the final and lost. Uh -huh. Many times with my father, who died uh, just before the semi-final that year. Oh. And it was one of the great ironies. We were, it was one of these big years. Shame. That was the night after Deacon Blue supposedly stopped forever. Right. Um, we, 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 we played the Barlands and we, I met a priest later on uh, who used to be, his parish used to include that, the Barlands. He said, I was there the night you died and went to heaven, Ricky. Oh. Uh, and he was talking about the final night at the Barlands. Stayed up all night, went to the cup final the next day and it was hugely emotional because my dad wasn't there oh. and we'd been there so many times and lost you. Well, you know the story. Oh, absolutely. And, and I wasn't even there because I was so pregnant that I, I couldn't was, go. I think if I never sent the policeman, no court in the land is going to convict me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're allowed. You're absolutely allowed. It's the widest that. smile I've ever seen in your face. <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it's so important, though. It's oh, so important. Yeah. And because it, my little boy now, he's been to one final right. and won mm -hmm. one. So I was at that one too. You were at that one too. I've been twice yeah, you, then. You're the winning. I'm the lucky yeah, mascot. Yeah, yeah. Should we get through again and we well might? Yes. You have to come. I'll come, I promise I'll come. Yeah. You have to, because obviously mm -hmm. there's, okay. a wee, there's a wee sort of thing going on okay. here, so that, that would be excellent. But look, we wish you all the best for, for the tour. When does that all kick off? When's that happening? Well, we're doing some festivals in the summer. We're, right. playing, mm -hmm. we're, we're playing Tea in the Park, which we've, we, we've cool. never done before, believe it or not. We've also been to V festivals. And then we start off in September. Uh, which includes the Albert Hall in London, which is a fantastic place Amazing. to go. We haven't played there for a long time. Right through, actually, we're doing shows to December. And at the end of this month, we're going to announce shows in Scotland. Brilliant. Which we haven't announced yet. Brilliant. I shall be there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. You Thank you for having, you for having us. You've, you've not changed. You look fantastic. Both of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, now it's time to head to Hollywood. Tiger Woods has gone...